In today's fast-paced global economy, time is everything. And nowhere is that more so than with the airline industry. Thousands of flights across the country are listed for arrival and departure every day. Every airline has a schedule to maintain, in spite of bad weather and airport congestion. And the demand for flights is increasing, even as our centralized air traffic control system is reaching its maximum capacity. Clearly, a new way of managing our nation's air traffic has to be developed, and soon. To this end, NASA is developing a broad new concept for air travel, the Distributed Air Ground Traffic Management System, or DAG-TM. DAG-TM is a national air traffic system concept in which pilots, air traffic controllers, and airline company dispatchers will share flight information so that pilots will be able to make their own in-flight changes safely and efficiently. This system will not only safely increase our nation's air traffic capacity, it will also help airlines stay on schedule. At the same time, airlines will be meeting and exceeding air traffic safety requirements. Using technological and procedural innovations that promote distributed decision making, DAG-TM can put information into the hands of the people best equipped to make flight decisions. These innovations include new flight management systems, data broadcasting technologies, advances in communications and navigation, and safety monitoring that improves on existing standards. NASA Ames Research Center, NASA Langley, the FAA, Ohio State, and many others are collaborating to develop this new approach. The DAG-TM concept encompasses the entire gate-to-gate -gate flight scenario and each collaborator is working on different aspects. One part of DAG-TM allows for flights to be equipped for free flight maneuvering. This means that if the flight crew needs to make changes to their original flight path, they have the freedom to determine the safest, most efficient alternative based on their cockpit displays and information from air traffic control. The researchers at NASA Ames Research Center and NASA Langley are developing the procedures and tools that will enable this free flight, both en route and as the aircraft approaches terminal airspace. They're using existing research and decision support tools and integrating them into systems that will support the new concepts and procedures of DAG-TM. The DAG-TM research team at NASA Ames recently conducted a technology and concept demonstration in a simulated environment. Radio check, one, two. The virtual environment included air traffic controllers and pilots, along with simulation support personnel. Three separate Ames facilities were used the Airspace Operations Laboratory, the Flight Deck Display Research Laboratory, and the Advanced Concepts Flight Simulator. Dallas Airport and its surrounding airspace were used for the simulation. The first part of the demo showed two concept options for the en route free flight segment of a flight. Currently, during the en route phase of a flight, if an aircraft needs to avoid bad weather, the air traffic controller reroutes the aircraft around the problem both to avoid turbulence and maintain proper separation from other aircraft. The resulting wide berth can take more time and fuel than otherwise necessary, something that airlines and air traffic control would prefer to avoid. The DAG-TM solution is to let the flight crew use their cockpit display of traffic information to determine the best course around the inclement weather while still maintaining safe separation from other aircraft. One version of the en route free flight demo showed pilots successfully changing their course without direct input from air traffic control. Now we have a Delta 749 traffic on the right. I think we can maneuver to the right and solve it. How does that look? Looks good. Looks like I cleared it. Enter. Execute. Execute that. Execute. Done. Looks good. 
A further pre-flight demo showed pilots again successfully changing their course, but this time with the concurrence of air traffic control who first reviewed the maneuver. Roger, NASA 31, uh, standing by. NASA 31, we have your request and are reviewing it now. NASA 31, request is approved, stand by for uh, uplink. There's the approval, loaded. That looks good. Executed. The benefits of allowing pilots to choose their own route around traffic and weather problems include shorter detours that save time and fuel, safe separation of aircraft, and a reduction in the air traffic controller's workload. The third segment of the demo covered the transition of free flight aircraft into terminal airspace for in-trail approach using a cockpit display of traffic information. Currently, any excess spacing between aircraft on final approach to an airport decreases the amount of traffic that can take off and land, thus reducing the number of aircraft that an airport could otherwise handle. This can be particularly true in poor visibility when visual flight rules are not possible. The DAG-TM solution is that aircraft with a cockpit display of traffic information are cleared by air traffic control to maintain separation relative to a leading aircraft. And approach NASA 3-1 with you at uh, descending through 13-8. NASA 3-1 regional approach. Roger, follow southwest 244, maintain 70 seconds. 70 seconds, confirm. 70 seconds. Southwest 244. 70 seconds, set. Start. And engage. Okay, go ahead. AFD, please. Use the speed. We're in the box. NASA 3-1, continue descent via the Prevo FMS transition, clear to ILS runway 13 right approach. Looks good, I'm getting 279. Can you go ahead and set 7,000 feet. 7,000. <clears throat> and we're clear for the approach. Okay. Looks good on the speed control. You're doing pretty good on the box here. Huh? Flaps 5. Flaps 5. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Gear down. I know the sun check. Gear down. The benefits of allowing pilots to maintain final approach spacing are that more planes can land in the same amount of time, even in poor visibility, and it reduces the workload on air traffic controllers. Overall, the DAG-TM demonstration at NASA Ames showed that these various concepts for free flight and in-trail spacing are viable and the simulation test environment proved to be a robust and useful architecture for more advanced research in the future. In addition, participant feedback provided valuable insight into the continued refinement of decision support tools and procedures that will help guide the direction of ongoing DAG research. Future plans call for the incorporation of partner sites around the country, each with flight simulators connected over the Internet. This will permit dynamic testing of the concepts, as well as engaging more government, academic, and industry partners in the development process. The technology will offer solutions for increased capacity, improved scheduling efficiency, and the higher level of safety demanded by the public and the airline industry. DAG-TM is an important part of our nation's effort to build the air transportation system of the future. This critical long-term research is necessary to meet the growing demands of the air travel industry.